How's it going guys? Um, so we've had the Profitech go for a few months now. I'm probably one of the first uh, to get this machine in the United States and I started using it. Um, and uh, initial impression was overwhelmingly good. And I also did a few upgrade options uh, for the machine. And after I did those upgrades, I actually reverted back to some of the original equipments because I have figured out that original equipment works just as good. Now, if you are looking for, you know, fancy looking uh, porta filter, you should go bottomless. And if you want the, the shower screen to look nice when you look down there, um, you should also upgrade the shower screen. But all the stock equipment on this machine actually works very, very good. Okay, that's what I figured out. Um, after using it for a few months. Now, um, I think in this video, I want to answer the question, uh, like a burning question for a lot of people who are probably still currently using the Gaja Classic Pro. Should you upgrade? Um, after a few months of using the machine, I would say personally for me, I would probably not upgrade because um, after this three months of use, I haven't found the PID to be that useful and I haven't found the pressure adjustment to be that useful. I actually tried a whole bunch of different temperatures for just our grinds. Um, honestly, I'm not a coffee expert. I just drink my espresso every day. They all taste pretty similar, um, regardless of temperature adjustments, regardless of pressure adjustments. So. Um, in my opinion, anything that espresso machine makers or you know those websites are selling you is a promise of a better tasting coffee. But we actually get a better tasting coffee. I think probably not. Your Gaja Classic Pro is gonna make an excellent shot of espresso. And another another problem I had with this machine is. Even though it's single boiler, it heats up pretty fast, it's still not fast enough for our needs in the morning. Um, and this machine is a resource hog. It uses a lot of water because for the steaming power to, um, for the steaming uh, to work, you have to purge it one to two times every time, five seconds. It's a lot of work and the drip tree gets filled up just as fast as Gaja Classic Pro. Um, and I have to fill the water tank just as often as Gaia Classic Pro. So did I save some time um, in having a larger cap capacity um, water tank? Absolutely no. Okay, so um, that is my concern because the workflow time is longer than Gaia Classic Pro. And the results of the coffee espresso still tastes pretty much the same. Uh, so that was our regret. Like after three months, um, am I impressed by this machine's capability? Absolutely. Should everybody buy this machine? Um, I would think no. Stick with Gaja Classic Pro if you have one. Um, my wife keeps telling me how she wishes we still have the Gaja Classic Pro. Now, obviously, I can't sell this machine and buy a Gaja Classic Pro because I would be losing money you know, at least at this current stage. So we just have to use this machine to the best of its capability and live with its shortcomings of being a resource hog and PID and pressure dial, just not as useful as everyday espresso drinker with just one kind of coffee bean that you've already dialed in. Um, so that is my quick impression. Um, I want to share with you guys as I continue to use this machine, you know, for our espresso making, obviously I will probably come back and give you some tips um, on, or, or, you know, uh, my impression of the machine as it go as we use it in the long run. Um, it would be nice to do a one year upgrade uh, in you know a few more months, and you guys would would know how well this machine performs. Um, for now, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. Um, and feel free to comment in the comment section down below. I love a good uh, discussion about uh, home espresso machines. Um, so thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.